Upset alert, number six Wisconsin on the road at Illinois as a 30 and a half point favorite. Late fourth quarter, Illinois down 23-14. Brandon Peters to Josh Ematarabebe. 29 yard touchdown. Illinois within two. Ensuing Wisconsin drive. Jack Cohn looking to make something happen. Intercepted by Tony Adams. Three turnovers in this game by Wisconsin, including that interception. Lovey Smith, let's go. Four seconds left from 39 yards out. James McCourt on for the game winning field goal. Can you be the hero, James McCourt, to upset Wisconsin? A 30 and a half point favorite. It's up and it's good. And Illinois wins it with a walk off field goal. 24 23. Largest upset so far this season. Last week, South Carolina was a 24 point underdog against Georgia. So, in terms of the spread, this is the biggest upset this season. Second largest upset in a Big Ten game over the last 40 seasons. Northwestern defeated Minnesota in 1982 as a 32 point underdog in that game. So Wisconsin suffers its first loss of the season, and it is a critical one. Of course, every loss is critical when you're undefeated. It becomes even more critical when the Big Ten could make an argument for two teams in the college football playoff. Wisconsin plays at Ohio State next week. You lose to Ohio State and you run the table rest of way, you make a, a case to be in the college football playoff. You lose to Ohio State next week, uh, your ticket's not going to get cashed and neither does anyone that had a ticket on Wisconsin. 30 point favorite as Wisconsin falls 24 23 and also the under caches. All right back here with Brian McFadden and uh, first off here your reaction to this and Wisconsin the latest team to suffer an upset. I'm surprised you know even though Wisconsin they were on the road granted they were 30 point favorite 30 point 30 and a half point favorite and the slow start uh, was an issue for me because clearly they were not as prepared as you would like to see them be right going into halftime I think the score was 13 to 7 it was an up and down affair of both sides of the football then you started to see sloppy play when you're starting to see sloppy play from a talented team clearly they're not all in they're not prepared and Hakeem came up with a huge point about who was next on the schedule for Wisconsin mm -hmm. Ohio State yep. and many felt like that could be the game in the Big Ten based on how well both teams have performed up until this week and I believe Wisconsin they were looking past Illinois and because of that we saw a slow start we saw sloppy plays three uh, turnovers that you mentioned uh, two fumbles and one interception mm -hmm. and when you allow a team that has nothing to lose to hang around a ball game also at home they established confidence and we saw that today and we saw another huge upset for the second week in a row this was an upset of epic proportions for Wisconsin and Illinois Wisconsin had won nine straight over Illinois dating back to 2008 um, all nine of those wins have come by 10 points or more uh, also Illinois had lost 28 straight against ranked Big Ten foes since their win at Ohio State in 2007. Wow. That's how bad Illinois has been, had been, has been in the Big Ten. That yeah. they had lost 28 straight to ranked Big Ten foes. That's what I'm saying. But And also, too, when I ask you a question, I'm like, what's the bigger upset? Even though Illinois, they were home. Yeah, they are bad. Yeah, ball South club. Carolina was at home. South Carolina is a better was that, team. Was on the road. Yeah, even South Carolina was on the road mm -hmm. to in Athens. Yep, one. But South Carolina is a much better team. Yeah, they're an SEC team. I mean, if you want to, if you want to, you want to, you want to compare South Carolina and, and Illinois. I you mean, can't. South yeah. Carolina is better, hands down. I mean, and, so. I, and this was this was a huge upset. Like I said, they were a thirty and a hook point favorite. Right, and you lose. Even though it was a walk-off field goal, who cares? They won the ball game. And for the second week in a row, Illinois, they covered. So this could be a tricky team to monitor going forward throughout the rest of the season because I don't know their, their schedule off the top of my head, but this could be a team that could be an underdog from here on out. Could be a tricky team to, to monitor as far as being able to cover because the second straight, straight week in a row, no one really saw them covering against Michigan. Well, I did. Yeah, you did. I you probably did. was only one. Yeah. But no one saw, well, you know what? 
No, nah, I didn't think they were going to cover this week. I thought they were going to have a, a drop off. <laughs> Honestly, I did. I, I, I thought Wisconsin was going to cover 30 in the hook. It's a lot of points, but right. Illinois had lost four in a row before this game this season. Yep. Um, and, and so now they get this huge upset win. Great for their program. Great right. for Lovey Smith. How does this impact the landscape of the Big Ten now? Because yes, Wisconsin now travels to Ohio State next Saturday. Well, I felt like before today's upset, the Big Ten was Ohio State's world. Everyone else was living in it. Mm -hmm. And last night, Friday night football, I felt like that could be a trap like game for Ohio State. Weird night of football, night game on the road. Every year we, seem, we, 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 we see Ohio State travel in conference play on a weird night and struggle. Last night against Wisconsin, I mean, they dominated. That offense, they run the football well. Justin Fields, he's making timely uh, plays through the air. And that defense, once again, one of the best defenses in all of college football. So for me, outside the landscape in the Big Ten, outside of Ohio State, you just got a bunch of, you know, other teams searching and trying to find their identity. And many felt like Wisconsin would be the, the, the toughest competitor for Ohio State, nah, because they're one-dimensional. Their generic offense, Jonathan Taylor, even though he still will get his yards, they have to find a way to do more, and the defense laid down a little bit today, so we have to wait and see. I can tell you this much, if Penn State take care, take care of their business tonight, even before tonight's ball game, I feel like Penn State could be the toughest competitor because I love right. their style of play, and I love their defense. And they got some skilled guys surrounding Sean Clifford that can really play, but let's keep it real. It's Ohio State's world. It is. Um, this upset second largest upset in a Big Ten game over the last 40 seasons, uh, a 30 point spread in this one. Mm -hmm. Northwestern defeated Minnesota back in 1982 as a 32 point underdog. Um, so in terms of the spread, you look back last week at Georgia and South Carolina it was around 23, 24, 25, depending on where you're shopping, right? Yeah. So this is in terms of upsets. This is a bigger upset in terms of the spread because you got a 30 point spread Wisconsin Wisconsin going into Illinois if you had told me that they were going to get upset by Illinois today, I said you're crazy you are absolutely crazy I think if you had told me last week that Georgia was going to lose South Carolina home crazy. you were crazy yep because these these two teams before these days last week Georgia looked like a playoff team mm -hmm. right they, they hang tough they go on to beat uh, Notre Dame uh, in a very tough game there. Uh, Wisconsin rolling in every game so far. They'd scored a touchdown in every opening possession. Jonathan Taylor looked like a top five Heisman candidate. Yep. We thought, hey, maybe they make a run at the college football playoff. That's why these are so massive in terms of upsets. But when you look at Wisconsin, I mean, this is a huge blow because I think you can make the argument Georgia – Still has an outside chance here to oh, make yeah. college football playoff. No I don't know the Wisconsin yeah. because if unless they beat Ohio State next week, what more could they do? They ha like next week is a must win yes. for Wisconsin to stay relevant in the college football playoff yeah. conversation. They would have to beat Ohio State next week and then, of course, hope to play Ohio State again in the uh, Big Ten championship, right? Or play whoever they play, they would love for them to be undefeated. Right. You know what I mean? Because clearly they would be ranked high and that would really help their chances into getting into the playoffs. But losing to a team like Illinois, even if you have one loss and even if you take care of your business in conference play, uh, it's still going to be tough to really overlook that loss. You know what I mean? So right now, I, I say no for Wisconsin, but I mean, they still have a shot, but clearly they needed to be undefeated, I think. Let me, let me tell you how crazy this is. Wisconsin has only trailed for one play all year. That one. Wow. That field goal. Yeah. That's Long how dominant that's how dominant they were. Mm, mm, mm. And now they got Ohio State coming up next week. Ohio and, State's taking and, care of business. And think about this. The loss for Wisconsin not only hurts Wisconsin, but a team like Michigan who got dominated, blown out by Wisconsin, right? Then the team that beat you to sleep loses to Illinois. I mean, this is a, 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 a a domino effect throughout Big Ten play, but this is what college football is about. Let's wait and see what we what else we have in store for the re remainder of the day because it's going to be some entertaining football to watch. Second straight week with a monster upset as Illinois knocks off Wisconsin on a walk-off field goal, 24-23.